as we dive right back into game number three here. Instinct and final boss in our losers bracket finals is all tied up one to one. Who is going to get into it? Here comes the game. All righty. Well, game three is going to be Team King on Construct. And guess what, everybody? This is Instinct's favorite game type. So I'm expecting a strong performance out of Roy, Lunchbox, Walshy, and Soviet. But final boss, they're not too bad at this game at either. So let's going to get this one underway with the former captain of final boss, Walshy. He's off to a tough start, though, as he's taken out by Strong Side's Grenade. Soviet with the rockets, putting them to use on Ogre 2, blowing himself up, but guess what? That's all four dead for final boss. We're going to watch as Roy is going to pick up some hill time. He's got the sniper rifle, and Walshy, he's got the rocket. Did you notice, Chris, right off the break, final boss got 11 seconds of hill time? Did not even pick that up, but guess what, Nexi? It doesn't matter, because we got instant here with 15 seconds, and they had better map control. Walshy respawning into the hill. Roy is down low as well, watching the bottom basement, but I want to stay on board with Soviet. This kid has been playing extremely impressive all tournament long, and I think he's really feeling more comfortable than he has ever done in a tournament. Absolutely. I mean, you could see him down there leaning back a little bit, trusting his squad. This kid has impressed me. He's running around, just staying, you know, near Lunchbox and Roy, like I said, the backbone, and proving that he belongs on this squad. Well, Soviet right now going up against Ogre 1 in the hill. Ogre 1 putting some great shots on him while she cleaning up the kill. And now we got more hill time from Instinct. Now, they say this is their best game type. Nexi, can you tell me what do they do better than other teams? Well, check it out. They just had all four dead from Final Boss. They caught Final Boss spawn in back wall, and they're trying to outslay him again. We got two down from Final Boss again. They're doing a great job slaying these guys, even though they claim to be the best objective team that can also slay. All righty. Well, just under two minutes into the game. Game. Taking a look here at final boss. These guys stand composed. Walshy versus strong side. Strong side getting the better of him, but Walshy being sneakier. Check out Walshy's versatility. He can run around, he can slay, he can get in hill. He seems to be everywhere on the map and so unpredictable. Yeah, he seems to be doing a lot of damage with half shields this event as well. He's playing more aggressively, and he said, that's the way our whole team plays. We don't care about stats. We play for wins. And it seems to be paying off here because they are the second best team I've seen so far. Final boss definitely struggling with classic. But you know what? They're playing pretty decent now in the Wizards bracket finals. I think the Ogres are taking their game up a whole nother level. Oh, man. These are a different set of twins than I've seen at every other event. The Ogres have definitely stepped it up. Whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever neighbor taught them is definitely showing because they're just playing phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I said it. All right, strong side going up against Lunchbox. Lunchbox getting the hill time, though. It looks like Instinct only with the six-second lead here. Final boss keeping it close. And no one has really been able to lock down the top yet. That is one of the things I've noticed. Well, Construct King is always this is a game type that I've noticed to be always back and forth. The hills are constantly moving. Some teams are always going to be better than other hills. The, excuse me. Some hills will be easier for some teams compared to other hills. Well, that was kind of hard to say. It gets difficult late in the evening. <laughs> We're jumping on board with Soviet. He's dodging shots, but not dodging grenades. Ogre One's got his rockets. He's dead, too. Fucking death finger in full action. I'm going to a guy who's not in any danger. It's Ogre 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, she was there, baby, and he's got a better BR this time around. If Walshy dies here, Chris, because you switched to him, there's something going on. You really do have a death finger. It happens every tournament, man. Just don't touch me. <laughs> Done. I still want to live. I got more life to live. Walshy going up against Ogre 1, putting a few shots, changing direction now on to Strong Side, and it seems that Strong Side is the only player that Walshy can't quite finish kills on. I want to jump on board, though, with Neighbor, the newest member of Final Boss. We haven't said his name once so far. This game. I know a lot of these guys, you know, Walshy being with Instinct now and also Soviet and then maybe with Final Boss. But when you go, when these guys are playing each other, does Walshy tell Instinct anything about Final Boss or does their whole strategy change now that they have Neighbor? 
Well, I think that Walshie would definitely tell his teammate in preparation how to play against Final Boss, but I think that the Final Boss strategy has really changed without Walshie on the squad and with Neighbor teaching them to play more aggressively, to do more flanks, and to be bigger distractions. Neighbor finally being taken down by Soviet. We're jumping on board with Roy. He's eating up the hill time. Now, Roy normally is one of the biggest slayers for Instinct. Why is he sitting in the hill? I think Instinct, everybody on Instinct plays that role. They'll all get in hill. And check out how Instinct will distract Final Boss up top. A three will charge while one, distracts it, uh, while one player from Instinct will sit in the hill, even though all the Final Boss is alive. I mean, you can't look at the hill when you have people shooting you in the back. Now, compared to the way Walsh played against Straight Ripon, would you say he's playing more aggressive against Final Boss? Walsh is everywhere. He seems to be more confident against Final Boss. Maybe he has something to prove. Maybe... I mean, I, I don't, I'm not in Wall Street's head, so I can't really tell you, but I've definitely noticed he's playing a lot better than before. Well, if you'll notice this, Roy just got the sniper rifle. Wall Street is now sitting on the hill. Roy missing a few shots. That's because he hasn't been firing the last two minutes. He's been sitting down low as Instinct picked up a big 30-second chunk of time down in the bottom hill, the hardest one to control. Nexi, what's going on? Exactly like I was talking about earlier. Roy just creating a distraction up top. Final boss is just staring down at the hill guy, but Roy's shooting him in the back. What are you going to do about that? All right, well, Ogre 2 is in the hill momentarily. He was taken down. Roy on a big, big living spree right now, and the hill is about to move in one second. So yeah, when I think of King of the Hill, I think of back in the day when I was a young buck, and I used to play out on the streets. We had about six or eight feet of hill space, and we played King of the Hill, but our King of the Hill was a little different. <laughs> it was all about, it would be five or six of us at the top of the hill, and whoever threw the person down the hill, that's who won. Well, you I'm glad you weren't using them? grenades. We probably wouldn't have you sitting next to us, Farouk. We're watching Roy still. He's going up against strong side. Throwing a few shots at him, Roy dodging backwards. He's got his teammates over on Close Street, and Soviet is pushing into the hill. He's taken down, but Roy's showing some patience, waiting for Strong Side to warp up. Has he died yet? Is he still alive on that living screen? He is living it up. He lost his sniper rifle, so he probably did die. I was looking at you for a little bit when we were talking about King of the Hill. Now, Roy's position right now is sitting top orange. It doesn't seem like Instinct has been trying to lock down the purples, which we've seen the majority of other teams do here, Nexi. What's going on? Well, like you just said, we see the majority of teams holding down the purples. I mean, from the purples, you can also hold down that glass room. Roy's doing a great job just moving back and forth, shooting down each open open lane, closed lane, and just kind of going with the flow. All right, well, he seems to be going in between orange and closed side. Those are the areas with the most spawns here on Construct. And listen to him using that lift noise to pick off two players. It's Ogre 1 first and now Ogre 2, but Ogre 2 actually takes him down before Roy can get the kill. Let's see what Oak and Ogre 2 can do, though, about Walshie, who's sitting in the hill and just eating up time here for Instinct. That was a huge run for Instinct, Roy being a major part of that, putting shots on everyone on the map and pretty much just denying Final Boss access to the top of the map. Well, check out the intensity on Walshie's face. You see him biting the lip, screaming out to his teammates. He is running all over the map playing as aggressive as he possibly can 151 to 90 instinct starting to pull away with this top hill All right, well, you heard Walsh and crew telling Soviet stay sword, so we spawn up there. They didn't spawn around him, but no big deal, because Soviet picked up the double kill. Now he's picking up the sniper rifle. Instinct continues to eat up the hill. Not only that, I mean, he spawned his whole team at the new hill. That was a gigantic play out of Soviet, and that was because of Walsh and Roy took initiative and told him to stay there. All right, well, Soviet doing a nice job listening to the two captains of his team. Walsh, of course, the former captain, but he's still in captain mode when it comes to playing here on the main stage. Soviet, he's just becoming a slaying monster right now. Check it out. Soviet is not done yet. Dropping down, finishing a guy off, and the other guy just runs from him. All right, well, this is Instinct's best game type, but that is not the case with the next one coming up, which will be Team Oddball on Guardian. We'll see how that one plays out. Oddball Guardian, though, that's in their top three, so things are not looking real bright for Final Boss right now. They're down by 80 seconds here with six minutes left in the game. I think Walsh was having a little bit of fun there with his pea shooter. Just tapping the button as fast as you can on the Ogres. He's a little, a little speed shot, showing off some Halo 1 skills. Let's check out Ogre 1, though. He's going for the Rockets. Watch 
Blue ramp, blue ramp, guys. Blue ramp, blue ramp. 